Today we're going to be discussing Mercury's energizing transit through Aries. I'm Ram Das Bill Sinclair, and I invite you to subscribe to this channel. I am also available for individual consultations. Uh, you can find the link in my web for my website in the comments below. So today we're discussing Mercury. Mercury will be in Aries from the 24th of April until the 9th of May. This is a fast transit above about two weeks rather than his usual four weeks per sign. The speed of the planet indicates that Mercury will be bringing a lot of energy to Aries. Mercury is the most youthful of all the planets. He's an adolescent and has his ups and downs depending on which other planets are in the sign with him. His adolescent quality will be accentuated in Aries, which is the sign of new beginnings and endless possibilities. Mercury brings youthful exuberance to Aries where he can see all the possible outcomes of any situation. This is not a combination that gives final results but rather it gives curiosity, vision, intelligence, and creativity to solve the issues in your life and in our world. Aries is the sign where the sun is exalted, and Mercury enters Aries on the day when the sun is in his exact degree of exaltation. This synchronicity emphasizes the strength of, a, of this particular Mercury transit through Aries. Aries, Mercury, and the sun are all related to health issues. Aries indicates healing and purification. Mercury represents our ability to maintain balance in our body, and the sun indicates our vitality and our ability to fight off disease. As Mercury's role is to support the agenda of the planet closest to him, we can expect increased understanding, intelligence, and knowledge about COVID-19 from now until the 9th of May. We will learn a lot about this pandemic from now until May 4th, when Mercury is exactly conjunct the Sun at 20 degrees of Aries. At that degree, the Sun is actually debilitated in the D9 chart, which may indicate there could be delays in distributing and implementing the knowledge that we're gaining. And it's possible that this could be caused by parties who are looking to monetize this information. Now, to get some ideas about how Mercury's transit through Aries may play out in our chart, Let's look at each sign. So, if your ascendant or moon is placed in Aries, be alert for health issues during the transit. Around the 4th of May, there may be issues or revelations in your personal or professional relationships. For ascendant or moon in Taurus, you may have vivid dreams which provide insight into long-standing issues. Creativity is going to be enhanced and you may also feel and you may also face unexpected expenses, so put some money aside for the savings. For ascendants and moons in Gemini, your natural skill and communication will be enhanced during this transit, especially when dealing with authority figures. Be selective with your words and you may receive long overdue rewards. Your natural curiosity will bring some new adventures. For Cancer Ascendants or Moons, you may feel restless and unsettled in your career and even concerned about how you're seen by others. Take note of these observations if they arise and use your natural intuition to determine if this is a good time to make changes or just decide to write it out. For Leo Ascendant or Moon, you may experience unexpected good fortune from father figures or mentors. Remember to share that good fortune with others who need it so that you can continue to keep the positive energy flowing forward. Virgo ascendants or moons may experience situations that bring about transformation and change related to long-standing obstacles. Use your natural strength of intellect, analysis, and organization to guide you through this process. Libra ascendant or moons have the opportunity to understand close relationships on a whole new level. This information may be a little unsettling for your partners, so only share your insights in a way that will benefit them. Your natural diplomatic skills will be an important guide in this process. Scorpio Ascendant or Moon may feel restless and unsettled. Careless words can lead to misunderstandings. 
You may win the battle, but you can end up losing the war. Be sure that you connect to your innate compassion for others to practice acceptance rather than resorting to sharp words. Sagittarius Ascendant or Moon will gain insights and new ideas about creative projects, investments, and understanding your children. Remember to also take time to relax and have some fun. Capricorn Ascendant or Moon will feel restless staying at home. Be sure that you follow public health guidance, but try to get out of the house every day. Change up your daily routine. Start a new book or reconnect to your hobbies to dissipate the mercurial energy. Aquarius Ascendant or Moons can connect to siblings and friends for support and entertainment. Use teleconferencing to maintain connection with your support system. Aquarians have a tendency to isolate and this can lead to depression. For Pisces Ascendant or Moons, you can use this time to strengthen communication with your family members. This can also be a time to resolve any misunderstandings so that everyone can move forward feeling at ease. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this information helpful. Feel free to leave comments or questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay home and stay healthy. If you're really feeling down, please reach out to someone in your community. There are many free crisis and support lines that are available to listen. Remember, we're all in this together. Namaste.